So why should we be excited about the fourth season of True Blood? Lots of reasons you should be excited about the fourth season of True Blood. Um, I mean, I, I would say Fiona Shaw is one reason to be excited about the fourth season of True Blood. She is fantastic. Um, you know, I, I, I would be excited for uh, Eric's story this season. You know, there's some, some interesting stuff for, for Alexander to play. Um, as well as Kevin Alejandro. I, I'm such a fan of his. I think he does such great work on our show. So we have a lot of new, some of our new characters and, and guests from last year who, who take a bigger, uh, a bigger role this season that just do great work. Well, how are Jessica and Bill getting on now? Uh, Jessica and Bill, I think this is the, one of my favorite seasons for Jessica and Bill. That, you know, Bill without Sookie has kind of lost his personal relationships and Jessica is sort of the last one in his life that he gets to really care for and, and I, I love their storyline together this year. There's a real uh, genuine respect and love I think. That's nice. What about badass Jessica? Because she can she could be quite cool when she wants to be. <laughs> Any more fighting and stuff we like that? We will definitely see uh, some more badass Jessica. Obviously you know we have some very scary witches coming up um, and uh, you know we will need all of the vampires in full badass force to, to conquer them. What can you tell us about the witches? Mm -hmm. How do they find things? Well, the, the witches, I think, are a really fascinating villain for us because they're the first villain that are, can clearly be stronger than a vampire. Not necessarily physically, but because of the powers that they wield. It's a real terrifying enemy for them. But Jessica has changed a lot. How does she change in the fourth season? I think up to this point, Jessica has been so distracted by dealing with the transformation into a vampire that she's neglected a little bit herself and, and just herself as a woman. So this season to me is, that, you know, she knows who she is as a vampire and what she needs, but really who is she as a, as a woman and, and what does she want out of that? Yeah, a lot of people go on about the sex and the violence mm -hmm. in True Blood. Does it get ramped up in the fourth season? Is there even more? Oh, yes. We have to top ourselves every season. There's no other way to do it. Uh, but yeah, you know, there's... Um, I like the range, I would say, of sexual experience that we have in the show. Some of it's very violent, some of it's very tender, and everything in between. And, uh, and uh, Jess will, you know, help spice that up a little bit. I think I can say that. <laughs> Obviously, Jessica has a lot of great lines as well. Do you have any favorites? Oh, dear. Uh, one, <laughs> uh, there's a couple, a couple of iterations of this throughout the whole, you know, many different seasons, but along the lines of, um, I'd wish I were dead, but I already am, and it hasn't changed anything, you know, like those kinds of ideas. Do you like that she's a rebellious kind of character? I do. You know, vampires, sort of through literature in the past, have been very stoic and reserved and kind of brooding and internal, and it's kind of fun to play like a bumbling vampire that doesn't know what they're doing and makes a lot of mistakes and is sort of frustrated and extreme. And it's nice to portray a different kind of vampire. There's a massive fan base for True Blood. Mm -hmm. Do you ever get any weird requests, like people you're asking to bite, you to bite them or anything like that? I mean, the weirdest, one of the weirdest requests I got is I, I met Chevy Chase at Comic-Con last year and I, we don't know each other or anything like that. But the funny thing is actually people want me to bite other people. So they got me to this weird place where they wanted a photo op of me biting Chevy Chase. So I don't know him. I've just met him. He doesn't know the show. And suddenly I'm being asked to like, paw, you know, pose over him and, and bite him. And there's a really awkward picture of it somewhere. <laughs>